Hello, you lovely lot. This is one of my favourite turntables of all time. This is a Void, a Guy Adams uh, three motor Void. It's a beautiful bit of kit, isn't it? Said to be designed to uh, replicate the waist of a woman. There we go. Hourglass figure it's got. Beautiful stuff. Um, it runs three motors. The torque is ridiculous. It's got more torque than a Technics 1200, which is crazy. Um, it runs three motors and the band runs all the way around three motors. And also by doing that, you, you're getting amazing torque, but you're also taking any pressure from the bearing at any one angle because it's being, the bearing is being, being um, well, the platter is being driven from three points. So it doesn't pull at any point on the bearing, it's equal, which is an interesting thing as well. Um, the arm is a helios silene, which is, I think about the time I think, the top of the range of the, uh, the helios arms. And it has a gold ring elite moving coil, which is sort of a posh version of the original Roica. Um, lovely bit of kit and the silver cabling as well. I believe that's early condo silver cabling, which is lovely. It has a split phase power supply over here. <clears throat> Perched on top of that gale. There we go. Lid is remarkably clean. Which is really nice to see. It's in the mahogany finish. Yeah, not much more else to say really. Uh, a classic British turntable uh, with a cult following. Um, it was later, the design was later, later adopted by Audio Note. Um, you see the link with Audio Note, hence the cabling and stuff. Um, it's often used alongside Audio Note gear at the time um, and snail speakers, it's in that camp. Um, but yeah, so Audio Note took the design of this um, and um, I think it was the original uh, Audio Note TT3 um, was basically uh, based on this design um, because they, they knew the design was great and it was, uh, you know, a classic. So yeah, lovely bit of kit. Um, yeah, see you soon.